Hey guys, welcome to Red Dead Redemption, and today, well, today, we're going to be on a boat. Wow. Nice. It's going to be a little laggy, but we'll, it's just my Xbox 360, that's it. Dude, come on. And we are just getting started with the game. Obviously, these guys are not friends. They're just business associates, you know. Yada, yada, yada. I'm not going to go into too, too much detail because I've already played the game. And I might slip up and say some spoilers. I'm grateful, Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us, pleased at how we helped the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. Um, okay. But, Father, do you mean unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, it hardly seems fair. Uh, what I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they lived like animals, but they're happier now. Oh. Yes, they live like animals, but they're happier now. Shut up. Not only do people now have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon we will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly, Jenny. No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. Apparently, Mr. Johns wants to run for governor which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns. Yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently. I'm, I'm gonna fucking kill myself. I'm gonna kill myself, I swear to God. I'm gonna fucking kill myself. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only uh, I'm seriously confused you know. right now. Indeed. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. Armadillo. We're here. Armadillo. I never ventured around this area in Red Dead Redemption 2. I mean, I played Red Dead Redemption 1 a lot more than Red Dead Redemption 2, but equally there, I, well, equally I played them a lot, but, holy shit, what was that? The game's not happy with me. Game, calm down, stop! St Bro, you okay, man? Oh, shit. Wait, no, 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 you gotta stay down, bro. You gotta stay down, you're drunk. No, you gotta, you gotta stay, dude, stay down. St dude, stay down. Dude, stay down. 
Dude, stay down. You gotta stay down. All right, let's uh, let's just get in the bar. John Marston. Sometimes. I'm Jake. Your friends from Blackwater hired me to guide you. They ain't my friends, but pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. Perfect. I'd Let's go, Mr. Marston. Marston. Quick, we no ain't time. got no time for helling around. Evening. Good. Get fucked. The Marshall page. Damn it. Dude, I was help. I uh, no, okay. Dude, no. No. Stop. Is he drunk? You okay, brother? Well, here, uh, let's mount up and hit the trail. The Marshall was sure looking at you this morning. Really? Come on, come on. Easy on the spurs now. We don't need to draw undue attention. You can draw out my nuts, dude. And put it on a plaque. So it's Lord Mercy you want to visit? That's right. Ain't taking nobody up to the fort in a long time. Strange place for a decent fella to want to visit, if you don't mind me saying. Who said I was a decent fella? It's been abandoned for years now. Folks say it was built during the Mexican War. What kinds of soldiers around back then? Why'd they leave? Well, I ain't entirely sure. I heard they had to go up north to fight Indians, or maybe they got tired of being soldiers and went looking for gold. You know how things is. So what are you doing up at the fort? I'm looking for an old friend. Well, like I says, you ain't gonna find many folk around those parts these days. Those you do find about as sociable as most three to back to. <laughs> I mean, I ain't one to judge a man by the company he keeps, but... Well, he ain't been friends for a long time. You might need time. them bullets when we get to the port, Mr. Marston. Spending any time in Armadillo, Mr. No need to be burning so much powder, Mr. Marston! I doubt it. I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, you can do a lot worse than Armadillo. Fine as cream gravy they are. Not like Thieves Landing. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? <laughs> Gee, Oh, it was the marshal who hired me. Lee Johnson, do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater big bugs asking for a guide. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. You ain't very talkative, uh, are you? No, well, I'm not. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. It's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me, there's things you better off not know. Car, right! My car! Oh, there. Yeah, yeah. Come on, Mr. Marston. Let's go. That ain't how we do things around here. Easy. Oh, 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 oh this goddamn bush! We're already fucking it up, dude. Come on! Listen, mister. This here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> Come on. Perfect. Bill! Bill, I've 
come for you. Bill Williamson, come out here right now. Go away now, John. Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. oh. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge! No more Dutch! And no more you. <laughs> implores. I, I implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Poor John. Oh, who's this? Is this who I think it is? It's ba 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 fucking goddamn fucking car outside. I swear to God. Stop driving your loud ass cars by my house. It's very annoying. Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was. Oh, I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr. Er, Mr. Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarlane. Miss Bonnie McFarlane. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarlane. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? I was trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, Miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. And, oh, uh, he doesn't have what any would shoes. You do now? now I'm gonna take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later? Help me patrol the perimeter. You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. 
I'll bear that in mind. John Marston. Do I still have shoes? Do I still have no shoes? No, I got shoes. I got shoes now. Alright, let's go talk to Bonnie. <gasps> Bonnie! Oh shit, I'm sorry. I sure can use an extra pair of hands around here. Let's see if we can get you back in the saddle. Hold on, I gotta drink my, uh, Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. This is really boring. Is that a... What is that? I want to shoot that. Paul built it oh, what? When I was just a little girl. That's a great barn. Let's stop for a while before we head out on patrol. You'll get no complaints from me, Mr. Farley. Oh, really? I want to go rest. How about a cold drink, Mr. Marston? Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this Dude, time. John Marston looks so cool in Red Dead Redemption 1. They didn't do good with his outfit in Red Dead Redemption 2. That's why everybody was like, "What's right. why does he look like this? I just love the holster. And after a while, you get a bandolier. I can't say it properly. But um, that goes around and you can put bullets on there. It actually makes it so you can have extra bullets. Let's go. Keep your eyes open. And try not to but get yourself But it also looks really again. cool. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I feel a lot happier someone's along with me. I feel a lot happier now I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. I don't believe it. Those damn rabbits are back. Give me a hand with them, will you? I know. I I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying. I'm <laughs> destroying your crops. I'm not gonna lie. If it's not the rustlers stealing our cattle, it's the rabbits stealing our crops. It ain't never easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city, become a lady of leisure. Damn coyotes are back! We can't afford <gasps> I got him! I got you! I got you, bro! I'ma kill these sons of bitches! No, leave the ch fucking chicken alone, John! Get the nice damn coyotes! Oh, that one's not getting away. You're not getting away. <laughs> Silly. Looks like that was the last of the coyotes. Just a shame we had to lose any of the chickens. Come on, I'll show you the way to your room. Perfect. You know, you can actually handle a rifle. It's something I've had a little experience in. Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. Luck didn't really come into it, miss. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. Whee! This you, Mr. Marston. Oops, sorry. Thank you for your help, Mr. Marston. Makes me kind of happy I saved your life. Get some sleep and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarland. He's so nice and generous. You are such a wise man. You are very wonderful with your nice, kind words. Let's change outfits. What? 
Ah, oh, that's not it's not as cool as the other outfit, although I will say, um never mind. Oh, these are like his nighty night clothes. This is when he goes to bed. John Marston, time to go to bed. Put on your nighty night clothes. Alright. All right, let's get get the frick out of these clothes. Perfect. I need to talk. We need to talk to Bonnie. Wait, there should be a treasure chest back here in Bonnie's house. Where is it? No. There should be a treasure chest somewhere. God, no. No! Oh, Mr. Marston. How are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarlane. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and by telling you, not only would I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. We got the race right, right. going. Oh, and I forgot to mention we got a war horse, which is considered to be one of the best horses in the game. Just be patient, okay? Just be a little patient with me. There you are, my beautiful stallion. Take me to the sunrise, baby! Go! On, On the count of three. 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 Two. two one. one. Go. go! I trust you're not gonna be a gentleman about this. You don't know me at all, Miss McFarland. This is gonna be easy. Oh! No, you're not. I bet you're starting to regret your brave words, Mr. Farland! Oh shit, that might mess us up. That might mess us up. She she cannot get past me. She cannot get past me! Come on! You son of a bitch! Come on! I am the captain of this ship. Because I am sharp shooting big eyeball. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, you're pushing me, you're pushing me. I want to win the race. Why is it so laggy? Yeah. Holy mother of God! You still think you're no. going to win this, don't you? I have got you now! No, wrong way. No, no. We can still win. We can still win. No, we can still win. No, we're not going to win. No, we can still win. I. No, we're not. No, we can win. Do we have horse pills? No, we don't. I highly doubt we would have war horse pills. Oh no, we can win this. Bonnie, yeah. if we just if we play it cool and slow. Holy shit. Holy Half shit. Ha <laughs> Let's go, Miss McFarlane. Eating your own words. Whoa there. 
That was fun. Sure. You know, you should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think's best, Mr. Marston. Haha. <laughs> oh, let's go talk to Bonnie. Bonnie McFarlane. Oh, Mr. How are you? Good, Miss McFarlane. How are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> can we just go, please? Take the driver's seat. Come on. Well, you're just really impatient right now. You need really to calm down. Better, considering you were almost buzzard food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly Whoa, what? missed your life? Hold on, I was looking boat? down. What no, the fuck miss, was that? I have not. Oh well, shit. That's relief. Perhaps there's hope Am I tripping? Was there something on my screen? On. Oh, there's always hope. Mr. Probably Marshall. tripping. I don't know. Why are they going slow? I'm, dude. I'm doing my best I can here. Why are you guys going so slow? I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. Oh, there we you go. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. Yeah, well, we're almost there. Because, as you can see, there's Armadillo right over there. Can you see it? Go. Holy crap. Crap. So this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not. But it does okay for us. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. Perfect. Alright. Hi there. You need some Give me some medicine, out? please. Thank you. I'm not gonna use it, but whatever. Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once. And a little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take a stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. Thank you, madam, for the advice. Oh, thank God. We are free to do what we wish. Alright, let's go talk to the M. I wonder what the M is. Which is a mission, I know that. Excuse me. Hey, hey, you got a visitor. <coughs> Shut up, you. Now what you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. I did? Apparently so. Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. You that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them, one of them Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> Come on, what? You, you getting cute with me, boy? What's going on here? I got me one of them Williamson boys. 
I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. Oh, no. Put your gun down. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. But he seems loyal. Jonah, get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. And you. Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten. Oh, hardy fucking whore. Dick. <laughs> what are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have him out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. The whole world has problems, mister. And I'm here doing what I can. Why? What's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burning down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon need shutting down. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. All right, tell you what. <sighs> Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. Okay, boy. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? Only when things matter. Come on, then, Marston. Follow me. Oh, dude. What kind of doggy is that? That's just a cute little... <gasps> Oh my god, he's so cute! So who are we looking for? A bunch of two bit hoodlums. What a adorable by this little guy. Goddamn road agents. Prey on the stage is coming in and out of town. Drivers and armadillos spend more time with their hands in the air than on the reins these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Happy? No. But the way I figure it, better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folk. Dumb rat bastard now. Let's follow him. See what kind of hole he crawls into. Walton's the top screw. Let's get after him. Oh, doggy, cute doggy, get stop! Dude, horse, I'm gonna fucking I'm I sh Catch me up. If Walton's as bad as you say he is, why don't we just beef him now while we got the chance? Because that ain't how the law works. Is that right, Marshal? And alive, he can still talk. Doesn't sound like he's a man to be reasoned with. He ain't. But a few days of my hospitality, and he'll be telling me what I need to know. Walton's gang's been growing fast. Outlawing's easy money for easy work. Chola Springs, Gap Tooth Ridge, these boys get around. Walton's a start, but there's plenty more where he came from. Well, we're gonna follow him, I guess. 
God, I'm getting super tired. All right. Headed for Pleasant's house. Let's We're gonna so we need to buy. Okay, we're almost there. So, the only way you can save is you have to get a bed, and the only way to get a bed, you have to buy a house. So there's like a house in Armadillo that you have to buy for 50 bucks. Looks like we got company, boys. I'm hoping this mission will give us 50 bucks. Because we're going to have to end the video pretty soon. Take cover. We'll work our way up this hill. Let's go, baby. Move up to that wagon on your right. I'll cover you. You're hard men, are you? Someone might as well have this. Perfect. Oh, this feels so just uh, just it. Dude, is he was he sitting down while shooting? Easy cap. Come on. Come on. Get out of the house. There we go. Didn't you couldn't even get a shot off of me, could you? Walden, your killing days are over. It'll be trial and the rope for you. Not a bad shot, Mr. Marston. Why don't you check in with me next time you're in town? I don't want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. <laughs> I'll see you soon, Mr. Marston. How much money did he give me? Come on, give me fifty dollars. Twenty dollars. What the fuck? All right, look, we're gonna have to find a way to get money. The best way to get money is there like there's a side mission around here. Oh, you hear those gunshots? So, oh, this is a side mission I'm talking about. My name's Jufo. Very grateful. There's much treasure here. You want map? I retire. Here, take map. Thank you for the map, sir. Thanks, mister. I could use a little luck. Thank you very much. Oh, and he gave me money. Okay, so here. Once we get this map, it will lead us to a location, and we gotta just follow that location. Or try to guess where that location is. Which is pretty easy, because I already know where it's at, so I'll just show you guys. We're at the location. So you just wanna go around these, maneuver around these rocks. And you'll find something that looks like this. And perfect. Well, look at that. Yes, yeah, so you get a gold bar, another map that leads to another location. Ain't that something, so. I would go to the other location, but um, I'm getting tired. So let's just go back to Armadillo. Oh, where are you? Here you are. What are you Hi doing there. back here? You surely won't regret a perch. So, so this flower, it's only $1. This is $100. Now each gold bar you get will go up in price. So the next one will be probably $125 and then $150 and up and up. Um, is there anything I want to buy here? Nah, I'm good. Give me the fucking house and let me go to bed. Sorry if I'm not that energetic. Um, next time I hopefully will be energetic. I'm just so fucking tired. Give me a break, brother. Alright. This should give me money. Did it just give me repeater ammo? No, you fucking asshole. Okay. Nighty night clothes. Come on, John Marston. There we go. You look good, don't you? Time to go to bed, brother. Hey, guys. I did hope you enjoyed that. Um, 
yeah, I'm going to go head out, go to bed, and uh, peace.